look, it's just this bit, mate. It's all here, around here. Keep thinking I see, um, keep thinking I see stuff, like see someone looking in through windows and that, so. <laughs> I think this is the only time I've been like, I rarely get scared, mate, but. There is summer, there's summer, there's summer in air, I'll tell you that for now. Right, come on. Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm back out in this folly which I have camped in before. <laughs> There's a few things I've got to tell you. I don't know if I mentioned it last time but I've mentioned it since on podcasts and stuff but this is the only camp that I've done where I've felt uneasy. There was a feeling of like someone was watching me or something. There was just bad juju. Something in the air. I have thought about it a lot since. It looks creepy, doesn't it, to begin with? And it looks man-made, so am I used to just normally staying out in the woods and not seeing anything man-made? And when I'm seeing this man-made structure, is that making my mind wander onto other humans? And is that changing the way I feel and the ambience of the place? Potentially. If you want to go down the... If you, if you want to take the red pill, you can believe that. If you want to take the blue pill, we can believe that stone, and this is for all you hippies out there, things like stone can capture energy, capture echoes almost of times gone by in it and has something terrible gone down here and is it captured to echo into eternity in these stones? Not eternity until the stones give way. And speaking of giving way, there used to be a big chimney on here. I came in the winter and I lit my fire in here and a load of butterflies came out so I'm not going to light a fire this time in here because it traumatised me, mate. There's butterflies. Get out, mate. Uh, get out. Get out, guys. Come on. The butterfly whisperer. See you later, mate. Good luck. Brought my bush box so we can have a bush box fire. But come and have a look at this. There is said chimney, look. That would have been a bad day in office, wouldn't it? If that had come tumbling down on me, a very bad day in office, where it's come down, it's absolutely chin this tree. I mean, it was always leaning that way, so I always thought if it did go, it would go that way, and it has. But, you know, you could have been walking around there, or just, it could have come that way, who knows? Uh, I mean, word of warning, if you're going to come and, and spend time in these old follies and castles and things like that, do be aware, just like you are with your widow makers and, like, with your trees, that could potentially drop limbs on you. Same applies for things like chimneys. Because a chimney, chimney, chimno, chimno more. Game over. And it's a really embarrassing way to go, isn't it? How did he die? Chimney, fell on his head. <sighs> not for me, that's not, how I, that's not how I see Marcel going out, mate. Chimney to bonds. But this is it anyway. There's a nice bit of ground here, and that's where I'll pitch my tent, and I'll just spend the evening in the folly, and uh, <laughs> see if I can just see if I can feel them them negative vibes again. See if I see if I get scared again. See if I feel uneasy. It has plagued me since last time. I, I don't know whether I've just over egged it or whatever in my mind, but I'm keen to see if them feelings are still there, and, not, and if and if I'm still a little bit a little bit wary of it. <laughs> oh, woodpecker, I right, gone. <laughs> right, let's get some cooking done. Get a fire going. This is the Bush Box XL Titanium. 
I've done a separate video on this that I'll link here. And that's it done. Very quick, very easy to set up. You can just contain it in there. It has two, two of these uh, trivets on the back. Look at the colour of that, mate. Beautiful. And then these trivets just go on here. It gives the whole thing a bit of rigidity. There. Keeps it rigid and it, you're, you're able to then put your, your pots and pans on the top a lot easier. But they do get in the way a little bit when, you, when you're initially starting your fire. So we'll get that out of there. Fucking chatty man. I bet that's all over my face. Let's have a look. Oh well, we're just gonna have to go with it, aren't we? It's camouflage. It's not the greatest bit of flint, Flint Eastwood. Come on, flint. Oh well. You know what flint looks like, don't you? So I did this at home the other day. Just chopped up an old cotton shirt and I chucked it in my fire at home and just in layers, just in timber layers. And that creates charred cloth. Or char cloth, whatever you, whatever, mate. And that'll take a spark. Very well indeed. Very, very well indeed. Right. And then got some of this that's luckily, look, which is just a bit of Michaela Bracken, and it looks to be, to my eyes, a bit. It's nice and dry. And so you can rub it together in the middle. Just to create a lot of finer material that'll uh, that'll that'll likely catch more, better, whatever, and make a little delve, boy, <laughs> a little nest in there. I need to do it at the bottom of my nest because then once you once you're doing like this, it catches and the flame instinctively travels upwards, and that's somewhat to do with science, I believe. Right then, Gandalf. Put my gloves on just in case because more often than not it scorches my hands. Oh I'll tell you what I picked up on waiting. A little bit of a booster. I wrapped it in this leaf because uh didn't want to get it all over the bag because it's a sticky little jewel. Oh and it doesn't half smell beautiful. And that's pure resin is that. Absolutely uh, smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. Oof. Be a shame actually to to use that. We'll leave it to one side anyway. I might not use that. I might use that for something else. A little bit of char cloth, and we'll fold it over onto the top. There we go. Yeah. So that'll that's taken now. So that'll travel all the way through there. We know we no danger. Gloves on. <laughs> Not much haste, is there? Haste outdoors. It's nice and dry. No bother. One more. There we go. Whew. Then we go on with some bigger stuff. Knife check today. Marmaduke Creations. A beautiful, beautifully crafted blade. Get your chicken in.
be here by the fire be here in my arms even when the embers die we'll keep shining on be here at my shoulder be here at my side Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Home of choice for this one is the one, the Gossamer Gear, the one, which is a hiking pole tent. So I've brought my poles. I could have cut down some timber, but I like to have my hiking poles because I know exactly how how tall it is for the optimum pitch. I've put this up in all sorts, mate. I've banged it up in. A, well, I took it down and put it back up in gale force conditions, and it was all right. Not bad at all, quite confident with it. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. And there it is. I've attached these bungee cords to the inner so that it's a lot easier to deal with. It is, it's not as wide as the Lanshan 2, but more importantly, the footprint isn't as wide because once you it's got a huge vestibular, vestibular area, you see. A lot of stealth camping coming up, I think, so. There's enough room for me and all my gear in there, and enough room to sit up as well, so it's perfect, really. And I do like the colour. It's grown on me. At first, I didn't know, but, I didn't know about it, but it's like an off, grey, greeny, I don't know, I like it. Same shiz, different diz. Rabba sent 900, my winter bag. Um, Neo, Neo Air Exterm Large, Trekology Pillow. And then underneath that, I'll put my thin mat, but I'm using that to kneel on tonight. So I'll just chuck that under there for a little bit of extra warmth and to give the mat a little bit of protection from underneath. I wanted to experience this in the same mind frame as last time. And I didn't drink last time I was here, so. I'm not going to drink this time. I don't want it to skew me, uh, me thoughts or anything. So I want to appreciate it all as sober as a judge. I think for the experiment, it'll be good just to be to be level-headed. Been a while, hasn't it, since we've had a little play with catties. So I might have a little go with this actually now. And this will never get boring. Watch this. Oh, West Yorkshire catapults or West Country catapults or something like that. Don't know. I can't remember. I'll put this thing on here. But well, look at this. You'll like this, mate. You'll like this. Not a lot. So, a necklace with a, there's a, I believe, cobra weave on there. And there's a magnet on the end. Now, so you can get your catty ammo. Dunker. Dunkus. <laughs> and it comes up with a load on the bottom. So you can, you can just pluck them off. And you've put them back on. A genius idea that I'll never get bored of doing. I think it's great. <laughs> Let's have a little plinky plinky, shall we? See if we've lost it. That's my target. It'll have to be a good shot. Look, this stick. And then behind it, I've put my coat so it'll catch the brunt of the ammo. It'll hit that, fall down, and then I can I can gather it back up afterwards. Right, can't even say it. It's been a while, mate. It's been a while since I've used, since I've uh, shot a catapult. 
Well, we'll see if we can get it in three. It normally takes me three shots to get my eye in. We'll see though, eh? We'll see. It's been a while. Good, wasn't it? Right, I'm reporting, reporting in. And I'll tell you what, mate, it's these windows that I've figured it out is why it's scary. So, I've just been chilling. I've, the fire's gone out, um, and the clouds, it's clouded over, but the sky has been great. The moon's been amazing. Hopefully, I captured some pretty good. Uh, night shots that I'll show you. I'll show you soon. But it's this, mate. Can you see? Can you look at that? I mean, it makes it even scarier, doesn't it? With how, how, what I can uh, there. Look at it. It's that. It's the. It's these windows that make it freaky. You just feel like you're being watched. There's a, there's a real creepy vibe. I thought, oh, I'll come out again and it won't be like that, but it really is creepy. Um, look, it's just this bit, mate. It's all here, around here. Keep thinking I see... Um, keep thinking I see stuff, like see someone looking in through windows and that, so... <laughs> Chalk it down, mate. I think this is the only time I've been like... I rarely get scared, mate, but... There is summer, there's summer, there's summer in air, I'll tell you that for now. Right, come on. Wanna get, we'll get out of this little bit now anyway. I've, I've done it though. I've done it, I've spent an evening in here. And now uh, my tent's just there, so I'm going to go and jump in it now. <laughs> it's definitely the old mind plays tricks on you, I think, when you're in um, somewhere that's got brick. Do you know what, as well, it isn't the brick because I've camped. All over the place where there's bricks and stuff and like old buildings and I spent a night in a abandoned railway tunnel. Should we go and have a look? Come on. Oh mate. Steve's carrot just never goes down. Imagine if I woke up and he'd finished his carrot. And I didn't get this sort of vibe like energy I sound you can't say it without sounding like a raging hippie but there's there was something there's something up here there's summit at this folly that summit's happened or summit god whether it's just me I've just got this like it's in my head but it's the same feeling as last time and I thought to myself right I'll come again with a clearer head I feel like I'm in a good place mentally and physically and all that so let's, you know, let's go back there and see what it's all about and conquer them demons and I keep, <laughs> did it again. There was just, it's just like an unease in my chest. I couldn't shift and then a feeling of being watched. Like someone was going to just, I kept having like looking over my shoulders and sort of seeing things out the corner of my eye in them windows. Anyway, creepy missing out, we've been talking about it. Let's cut to some nice music and hopefully some nice night lapses. And unless something magic or tragic happens, I shall see thee on the morrow.
proper awake, slept well. I kept the uh, door tied up to there. And so, let's have a look, look, yeah. Tied it up there. Loads of space, so loads of airflow through here. Right, let's get up and head out of here then. Right. There is no fire to tidy away. And literally, that is done. Leave no trace. Ow! That's done for the uh, the night in the creepy folly. Didn't shit it. I did a little bit, to be honest. Um, like my mind would wonder. It's these bits, these dark bits, man. I kept thinking I saw things and I kept feeling, it was like a feeling in here of unease. And I think it's just because I was on high alert because it's man-made and it looks like some out of a film, like out of a horror film. My mind was on high alert, so any noise or any sort of changing in light or whatever, my brain automatic automatically went, oh, it's something bad. But like now, it's now, is it? I will find some cold water, even if it's a puddle. Ugh. Even if we've got a lie. Face down in a puddle, cold on hands. Thanks for having me. Take some of that. Take some of that positive juju there, guy. Take care, mate. Till next time. If there is a next time. See you later. Come on, show you down here. On these steps. Ooh. And uh, is this look? Is it a well? See ya. Oh. That beauty. Beauty. Now we'll go find some water. I'll do one of these ones, eh? Here we are. Right, I found some soup. Looks kind of deep enough at the back of there, but little ding dang do. Let's get in and let's go plunge this plum. <laughs> plunge the old plum. It's cold, it's cold. It's cold, mate. He's nippy! Ah, that's good. We'll get head under. Ah, whoo! Whoa, whoo, Brand new. Let's get some clothes on and then get out of here, mate. Uh, I'm not going to do a walk off on here because I've got to get up. I've got to climb up here. I don't want to climb up there and have to climb back down. So, so we'll leave it here. Thank you to everyone who watches. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all the comments and messages. I try and um, read them all, but replying to them is impossible. But I do appreciate it, and I uh, I feel it. And thank you. And it's right back at you. Much love. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.